Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is Dr. Ali Mugibal. Today's lecture is about discrete memoryless channels. We'll cover two important things. We'll look at the discrete memoryless channel and the transition probability matrix. In information theory, we can represent the channel. We have discrete channels. We call the channel to be discrete if both the input and the output, if both alphabets X and Y are finite in size. So there are discrete options for X, discrete options for Y. The input alphabet is X, which includes certain discrete symbols, and the output alphabet has discrete options. This is called discrete channel. Now we extend this to discrete memoryless channel. So when do we call the channel to be memoryless, or DMC, discrete memoryless channel? Of course, we have memory, channels with memory, and channels without memory, or discrete memoryless channels. Now, what is a discrete memoryless channel? If the output set consists of discrete set, and the condition of statistical independence hold, the channel is discrete memoryless channels. If the output symbols, or discrete outputs, are independent, there is no memory, we call it discrete memoryless channels. So statistical independence means that there is no relation with the previous symbol and hence no memory is needed and hence the name discrete memoryless channel. No memory is needed to identify the symbols. Now a few comments about discrete memoryless channels. Channels in general can have memory. This means the output is correlated. A special case is the memoryless channel. We will focus on this special case because it's widely used in analyzing communication systems, which are which assumes memoryless channel. Remember that in communication systems, the channel is identified Gaussian noise in many cases. So the output will be the input, the discrete output will be the discrete input, and we have a Gaussian random variable noise added. If the channel is noisy, error in the transmission will occur. We can model a memoryless channel as function of transition probability. What is the probability that we start with X and we end with Y, specific X and E and end with Y? These are called transition probabilities. They map X into a certain output Y. In general, this mapping is not one-to-one. -one, and if it's not one-to-one, -one, then reverse function is not possible. Now let's focus more on the transition probabilities. So we have the symbols here, x's, and here we have the output. Mathematically, we can view the channel as a probabilistic function that transform the input symbols, which are usually coded, into the output symbols, y. So an example, let's say that a source emits two symbols, 0 and 1, with probability 0.6 and 0.4, respectively. The channel is represented by a transition diagram, and the objective is to find the probabilities of receiving 0 or 1. So these are called the transition probabilities. I am showing them in colors here. All these four are the transition probabilities. Those two probabilities are the a prior probability. So now the question is, what's the probability of receiving 0 or 1? And this is our channel. This is a discrete memoryless channel because it has no memory. We can just represent it with line. It does not depend on previous symbols. So I think we have done this a couple of times. We can say that the answer, probability of receiving y equal to 0, is either you start from here, 0.6 times 0.95, or, so plus, 0.4 times 0.25. The black ones are the a priori probabilities, which give you 0.67. We can find the probability of receiving 1 by subtracting 1 minus this quantity, or we can start over by saying, following the same transition diagram, it's 0.6 times 0.05 plus 0.4 times 0.75. So this is now called transition probability, and it's one way of representing discrete memoryless channel. All right, so more about transition probabilities. We can write the transition probabilities then into a form of matrix, which is called transition matrix. The matrix with conditional probabilities is known as a transition matrix. Why? Because it allows for transition from the input to the output probabilities. It links between the output, the input, and the output. The one in blue here is the transition matrix. For the case of probability of y given x, 
the number of rows for this transition matrix the number of rows equal to y or the cardinality of y number of symbols at the output and the number of uh, columns equal to the cardinality of x of course they don't have to be the same how do we get the number of this transition matrix in real life we can do performance evaluation if we have a cable or whatever we can try different experiments so we can initiate an experiment where we send a sequence of bits or symbols and we measure the probability of receiving the output we have to do the experiment multiple times or we can theoretically do performance evaluation or simulation so this is done in or through experiments or simulation or before or theoretical performance evaluation okay so that's um, the transition probability matrix that represents the discrete channel memoryless channel i'll leave you with a question so please rewrite this simple question write this transition or write the probability in the previous example which is reproduced here in a matrix form write the transition matrix or the transition probability matrix for this diagram please write your answer in the comment section see you in coming videos